Hello, this is Oliver Blair from Massey University and in this short video I'm going to explain how to get a, a foreground alpha channel in your indigo render. So normally um, when you render, I've just got a simple model here, I've just got some uh, components uh, for like a little window kind of thing and I've also got another big component for the ground. So normally if you hit render in indigo on the indigo toolbar here from SketchUp, if I just hit render, it'll come up looking like this. So it'll have the uh, sky in the background and all the shadows and everything like that. But if I hit stop and then change the indigo settings to from imaging to render settings, um, if I just make this smaller, yeah, you can sort of see here there's this foreground alpha little checkbox. So that's just under the render settings in indigo. So if I hit that, and then press render again. You, you do need to stop it to um, enable that. So if I hit render, you can sort of see it's grayed out now, so I can't change that. But you can sort of see um, there's no background anymore. So pretty cool. So if I hit stop, and I'll just quit this. You can also find that option in the skin to go settings. So on the toolbar here, just that camera icon, and it's just under advanced. And then there's a foreground alpha little checkbox there as well. So if I hit apply. Now every time I hit render, <coughs> it'll just render the foreground alpha. So what does that mean though? Uh, let's uh, try another thing. So I'll just, instead of having um, just an opening like this, I'll make this uh, maybe a window on the inside as well. So I'll just edit this component. I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll just draw another rectangle on the inside. We go and I'll just reverse that face and I'll paint it with a new material. Uh, let's just pick a new color, it's like a kind of like a bluish kind of color. Here we go, and then um, in the skin to go material editor, I'll click on that uh, paint bucket to get the material editor open, and then I'll just change the material type to uh, thin glass. Here we go, so now we've got some glass, just a quick glass option going. And I'll just have it going like that so that we get this sort of um, see-through transparent effect here as well. You can see the difference. So hopefully now if I click render, it'll render it yep, alpha transparent in the background. And you can sort of see a little bit here that this alpha trans area is different to here. So it's semi-transparent and then less transparent as we go down because the the glass layers are doubling up. So cool, that's working really well. So let's, um, I'll just hit stop, save the image to my desktop. And I'll just call it uh, render test one. And then where's Photoshop? Photoshop, new image. And I'll open up that um, render test. Cool. Select all, copy, go back to that new image, paste it in as another layer. If I zoom in, you can sort of see. Um, wait, hold on. What's going on here? Ah, oh, I saved it as a JPEG. Whoops. Let's go back to Indigo and I'll save it instead of a JPEG. Is a PNG. So a PNG has an alpha transparent channel in the image. So you've got red, green, blue, and also A for alpha, RGBA. Render test one. Well, this is test two now, isn't it? Whereas a JPEG does not have that alpha transparent channel. So that's why it looks like it's transparent, but it's not. So I'll just close that one, open up the PNG file. So very important, you want to make sure that the PNG that you're um, <coughs> that you're saving is. Cool. And when I paste in that new layer, you can sort of see now it's transparent. If I change this background color, let's go colorize. You can see it sort of subtly changes back here as well. So great. Now we can just do whatever we want, right? We can even um, bring in a real background. So 
let's just quickly find one okay cool I found one so in Chrome you can just right click and go copy image so you don't even need to save it onto your desktop if I go back to uh, Photoshop and let's go paste there's a new layer I put it on top so I'll just drag it underneath sweet you can sort of see there even more the effect of that glass masking sort of colorizing the background as well so yeah really great even you know semi-transparent stuff works really well like that scale it up sort of play around make it a bit choppier cool so yeah that's how you can um, export a alpha transparent channel image from indigo and then um, add some context in behind it with Photoshop thanks see you next time